Hello everyone, I am Josh Games and welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I will be talking about my experiences and thoughts about the finals. I was lucky enough to get my hands on the alpha playtest, however due to the game currently being under a non-disclosure agreement, I am unable to share any screenshots or recordings, so the footage you are seeing now is from the public trailer that Embark have released. I am also not going to go into too much detail about specific features and mechanics as they are likely to change once the public gets to see the full game. Despite all of this, it is a very fun game already and it's still in early development. The guns feel quite nice to shoot and aren't too hard to control and uh, the time to kill seems about right. There are a number of weapons to choose from, depending on what character you choose to play as, but we'll get that later on into the video. At this point though, the AK does seem to be the most dominant gun, and the LMG doesn't seem to have as much kick as it maybe it should have. Some balancing of the weapons is definitely needed, but this will change in the future, so take whatever I say with a pinch of salt. The destruction so far is actually amazing. They weren't nine. You can destroy almost everything in a more realistic way. The only negative thing I can think about is that it's quite easy to get stuck under the rubble. So perhaps the rubble needs to be a more reactive to the player so the players can uh, free themselves a lot easier. The mantling in this game I found is quite inconsistent meaning I was able to climb something that should be too hard to reach and vice versa. It also seems quite slow and sluggish, but this is just something that needs to be ironed out. So far, there are three classes of characters you can choose to play as, light, medium and heavy, all of which are able to be customised to how you want. The light class has the fastest movement, but the least health. The medium class having a balanced movement speed and health and the heavy having the slowest movement but with the most health. The movement is somewhere between Apex Legends and Call of Duty where there isn't any fall damage uh, but there is slower movement. Although sliding after you've jumped off a building is very satisfying and gives you a little speed boost. To speak quickly on the performance, I'm on all medium graphics settings with ray tracing on and I get about 100 to about 130 frames. For an alpha test I think that's actually very good as there will be a lot more optimizations in the future. I'm very impressed on how this game is already and for the developers over at Embark have done an outstanding job. I genuinely cannot wait to see where this game goes, hopefully adding more game modes and mechanics to spice up the gameplay just that little bit more. That's what I'm going to say at this time, I just wanted to give a small overview on where the game is at this stage and hopefully get more people interested in the game. If you are watching this before the 3rd of October and would like to apply to try and get into the alpha, I will have a link in the description below to their official Steam page. Please bear in mind that entry is, isn't guaranteed and people are selected at random by a bot at Steam and the alpha playtest ends on the 3rd of October. That's been me and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.